Chua Penki, yun pati Ang itumama ji, human ak ng ikatune Chon muli, muli, ichuta Yun Ki muli
Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Starforge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Watch yourself. We don't need anyone activating the Speak with the director if you need a Spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. 
Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. First off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, uh, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Of course. You're in a hurry. Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Martin is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. Hello again. What can I do for you? Valued into... You hurt me, Martin. It's the debt of you. Enslave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellow's left without settling their debts. So he must make up the difference. I know, I know. It's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you. Especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. Something about this whole situation stinks worse than an overcrowded Ronto stable. What kind of friends would just abandon a crewmate? You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matt. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here, and not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> as I was saying, he'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point in exchange. Besides, he is a hard worker. Uh, You'll get your... Of See you soon, I... Hello again. Value you. Yeah. Something you think... <laughs> He'll... Then. See you soon, I hope. Welcome to Adia. I trust you will find our facilities pass inspection. Zerka Corporation is very efficient. I'm sorry, I don't understand Wookie speak. Shiri Wook, I think it's called. What did the Wookie say? Call him off. I, I don't have anything to do with what happens on this planet. I'm just a glorified lab technician. Our work here could be very important if any...
Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. <laughs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? You've got your facts a little backwards. Mission could have come with us if she wanted to. It was her choice to stay behind. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too, as soon as I ran out of money. He started blaming me for all of his problems, like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. Hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table-dancing, brother-stealing, home-wrecker. I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Hey there, what can I do for you? Don't tell me you believe Lena's lies. Griff might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. You can't trust someone like her. At least Griff's free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Circa Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. I just hope he's not in any kind of trouble when we do. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookiee hunters usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down.
Careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Just shut Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. Well, it is a bit costly. What are you trying to get away with here? You can't just walk up and start demanding things. I think this troublemaker needs an accident. In fact, I think this Wookiee attacked this fool and we arrived just a little too late to help. Uh, Captain, we have blasters. Don't Wookiees use those bowcaster things? Would you just <coughs> shut up and shoot? <coughs>
Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you.
Suppose we have little choice. We should proceed with caution, however. be of assistance to you, Padawan. What is it you would like to speak to me about? I have been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. Well, even if we do not speak that often, or are apart, I still feel a part of a team, this group you have assembled that accompanies you and Bastila on your quest. It is... it is warming. I feel almost... welcome. <laughs> Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. I feel that I could count on any of you. But you, you are the one who drew me back from the dark side. It is to you that I feel a debt, and I shall make it up to you.
What is it you... How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home world, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. It was not the home world of the Cathar that I lived on. My parents had long fled from that place, and perhaps that is a story for another time. Rather, it was a human hive world that I was raised on, the hind end of space, a pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi, to lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it, or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Thank <laughs> you. 